It's Tuesday, the 23rd of January, 2018, and welcome to Navigating Your Day. This is the second take of this clip, because in the first one, it went, went swimmingly, right? And then, just as I was going to save it, I thought I must just listen to the beginning, and I went, Hi, it's Tuesday, the 22nd of January, 23 came into the US. Right, so that's a typical, that's typical of what might happen today, right? Because today we might be trying to go too fast and end up actually buggering it up a little bit. 23, it's the 23rd of January 2018 today, and 23 came into the universe in Jinjin Jitsu, meaning proper circulation maintenance. Now, this circulation maintenance, in my understanding, refers to our physical circulation, our blood, which we think of, but it's also everything that is transported fluidly in the body. So that's neurotransmitters, that is um, hormones, it's digestive enzymes. Those are all associated with fluid maintenance and circulation. And so today is um, a day for us, if we can connect to that energy, then we can actually go with the natural flow of life more harmoniously. It is also, in my opinion, circulation has got to do with the circulation of our emotions, the, the fluidity of our mind, keeping our mind circulating and not just circulating sort of up a spiral and not just round and round and round and round and round on the same hamster wheel because that can potentially drive us nuts. So five is the number of adaptation. It's the inventor. Five loves adrenaline. Fives love change. Fives are the analysts and the thinkers. So we have a five, we have a one, and we have a two in the root of the life map. So if two air numbers that are highly analytical, very much associated with the mind and thinking. And then we have the two from 2018, which is more about feeling. Underneath the root of the life map, we happen to have two fire numbers today as well. So we've got fire underneath a whole lot of air. Now, the benefit of that is that we can use the adaptability of the five, we can use this analytical thinking, we can use the confidence and the creativity of the one to actually build and to feed that fire of our creative drive, which means we may have the most amazing ideas. We might actually come up with the most amazing strategies. We will possibly set the most amazing goals for ourselves today. Wonderful. The drawback is that we could get stuck in the thinking process, in all the ideas, in your mind just going ping, 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 where you actually can't bring any of that into some sort of cohesive form. And what then happens is we get mired in the wheel of anxiety because that's the downside of the five. The downside of the five is that we actually end up burning ourselves out. So if you think about it, when your circulation fails, you go into heart failure, you could go into renal failure, you can get gangrene in limbs. It's never um, not serious, right? Circulation failure is a big issue. So what happens to us mentally when our circulation fails, when we get too infatuated with the go, 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 when, with the meeting the deadlines, with the being better, with this wonderful um, idea, with this oodles of money we're going to make, how famous and rich and wonderful we're going to be, how spiritual we're going to become, what amazing parents we're going to be, and what brilliant ideas we have then um, we run the risk of burning the circulation out. And then we actually potentially get mired in the wheel of negativity because we, we then get stuck in our anxiety. And what happens then is if the five becomes really anxious, then the one starts losing confidence, the two starts becoming depressed, and then luckily we have Jin Shin Jitsu and we have the eight in the hero position today because the eight in the hero position is a very strong earth number. And eight says, how can we make this practical to reach what we want to reach. How can we find a practical solution? So all this thinking and this brainstorming and all this talking and all these wonderful strategizing sessions we're having, may, amazing. What can we do today to get us one step closer to our goal? So that's the energy that that strong eight earth energy brings us in the euro position today. The villain today is a four. Now that's also an earth number, but it's a weaker earth number than an eight. And four in the villain position means that we become blind to the truth. So we can either potentially think today we're bulletproof. We can think that we can do it um, better than we can. So, you know, and then, we've, then <laughs> we get tripped up. So like I discovered right at the end of the clip that I actually said the 22nd and then started talking about the 23rd because it actually is the 23rd. So that is really possible today. We might be in too much of a rush. We might not pick up our mistakes. We might become hypercritical when that does happen. So we need to guard against that because the four in the villain position is where our blind spot lies. We stay out of integrity with ourselves. We might also reach goals or set goals 
that are not really based on what we want. They don't resonate with the essence of who we are. We are doing them in order to win the prize, get the recognition, be seen, get the love we think we can't get in any other way. So we do need to be aware of that because that is potentially going to play a big role today. Luckily for us, safety engine lock number 23 is located on the little finger. The little finger is associated with the heart and small intestine organ function energy. The heart says, I radiate. I radiate that joy and love out to the world and to myself. The small intestine says, I analyze. So this is a different form of melding the head and the heart. It's melding the radiant outpouring with the analytical function. Um, when you hold your little finger, you actually help to harmonize those. You also, of course, harmonize your circulation, the circulation of your blood. And in your blood, you find the neurotransmitters, the hormones, the digestive enzymes. So um, it helps to maintain the circulation through the heart function. It helps to maintain an analysis and absorption of your food. And more importantly, I think for today, it helps to harmonize the attitude of pretending and of trying to. So the pretending are the masks we wear because we think that that's going to get us what we want. And what we actually want is a more expanded, freer version of ourselves. And the trying to and the pretenses, that's how we think we're going to get what we want, right? By trying harder, by reaching the goal, by setting bigger goals, by making the targets, by, by pleasing your boss, by pleasing your spouse, by pleasing your children, by pleasing the teacher, whatever. When we hold the little finger, we help to harmonize that frantic need to be perfect, to be too much in the doing and the thinking part of our being and not enough in the feeling part of our being. So holding your little finger will help to harmonize that. Another thing that you can do is you can earth yourself by connecting to your physical body. How do you feel in your physical body? A really good way for me is to actually, um, when I eat, to focus, and I don't always pull this off right, and I'm going to try really hard to do this today, but is to focus on that eating process. Don't eat in a hurry. Don't eat when you're in the car. Don't eat when you're distracted. Just take 10 minutes or however long you need and focus on what does the food feel like in your mouth? What does it taste like? What does it taste like when you chew it longer? What does it feel like when you swallow it? When you've had a couple of mouthfuls, how does your tummy feel? How does the feeling of moving to satiety differ from the feeling of hunger? If you can keep on bringing yourself back to those sensations, then you anchor yourself in the earth element of your being which is your physical body. So hold your little finger, chew carefully, appreciate what you eat, earth yourself, and above all, be kind to yourself today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll speak to you again tomorrow.